Today we're going to demonstrate our technique for a lateral meniscal root slash radial repair with an ACL reconstruction. In this patient, it was a patient under 20 years old um, with a near acute um, radial tear. So we attempted to repair as best po as possible in this patient, given the best chance. You can see here, radial tear is scarred down and is not healed. We'll use a shaver followed by a ball rasp and arthroscopic scissors to clean up the two ends of the radial tear and to fixate this. We use a curette to sort of microfracture and allow for ingrowth at that site. Before completing any passes, we'll drill our femoral tunnel, usually a depth of roughly 20 to 25 millimeters. You can see we're passing outside of the passport cannula to avoid damage or suture tangling. We use our passing device to pass a tape suture through the meniscus on one side, and then we'll grab the top limb and use the passer upside down to pass this in a horizontal mattress fashion. Following this, we have the two limbs inferiorly that will be dumped into a tunnel, which is shown the highest biomechanical strength. Here we're using a Smith & Nephew root guide to drill our tunnels. We keep our entry at the lateral portion of the tibial tubercle to avoid intersecting the tunnel of the ACL. You can see here we've got an excellent trajectory. Following this, we'll pass a passing suture through the cannulated metal sleeve of the Smith & Nephew guide. You can see that we can pull this meniscus together well and decrease the hoop stress. Here we're debriding our tunnel. We then drill our tibial tunnel. And again, we leave the metal sleeve of the Smith & Nephew guide system in to avoid truncating the sutures. You can see we have not penetrated and crossed our tunnels. Following this, we've passed our ACL graft. You can see the, there is no further anterior drawer. Following this, we'll turn our attention after completion of the internal brace to the repair of the root slash radial tear. You can see here we're sequentially tightening this with a swivel lock. Following this, we thought there was still some more mobility of the meniscus as there was that small split tear at the red-white junction. And we'll place a single all-inside suture to further cinch down the meniscus and reduce the hoop stress further. This has two limbs as an all suture device. And following this, we'll cut it. And you can see that we've attached the meniscus to the back wall well, as well as to the root and the two ends together. This completes our ACL reconstruction in combination with a root repair. If a medial root is needed, we will put the medial root guide more medial to the ACL tunnel and then split the difference for the tunnel. Thank you.